Okay, welcome to Love Lives Sports. My name is Alex. Alongside me are my good friends and co-hosts Jack and Nick. So today we're going to be covering free agency for the NBA, which is right around the corner. A lot of top tier players are going to be hitting the market in a few days, such as Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant. So first off, I want to get you guys' take on where these players are going to be going. So who wants to start? Well, uh, personally, I think that uh, I think that a likely destination for Kawhi Leonard will be one of the Los Angeles teams, and I think a likely destination for Kevin Durant will be one of the New York teams. So, and Nick, sorry to cut you off, but we're getting breaking news here. Oh. The Denver Nuggets have acquired Jimmy Butler from the 76ers in a sign and trade. The Nuggets are going to send Paul Millsap, Will Barton, Torrey Craig, Bull Bull, and a first to Philly. So what does this mean for the Sixers and for the Nuggets now that Butler is heading to the West Coast? I think this is probably the best option for the Sixers. Since it was a sign and trade, that probably means that Butler was going to was going to leave anyways. So this is probably the Sixers' last option if they wanted to get something from from him. This actually does work out for the Sixers getting Bobo, who is a, who can be a really good backup to Joel Embiid and be in there when he is not. And they also get a first round pick, which can develop into a good bench player for them, including Paul Millsap at power forward. And. And Will Barton and Tony Craig, who are good shooting guards and small, who can also play the small forward position and provide valuable points off the bench. So, I look at the names that the Sixers got. There's not really a real superstar here. Now, there's still some superstars out in free agency besides Butler. Do the Sixers go after one of those guys, or do you, you know, stay with what you got from the Nuggets? Well, I mean, their strength in numbers, especially uh, when you get to later on in the regular season into the playoffs. And, I mean, they say that uh, most of the time uh, when a big trade does happen, they say that the team that got the best player in the deal won the trade. So, in this case, that would be the Nuggets. But the Sixers did get a lot of really quality players and a future first-round pick. So, uh, if I'm Elton Brand, I don't really know if I uh, go for another free agent because... Uh, as of right now, I have a really, really, really deep roster, and um, uh, I think that right now, and obviously we'll have to see how the season goes uh, when it starts up, but I feel like right now I can definitely make a long playoff push with the lineup I have on the floor. All right, well, well said, both of you. Um, that's going to do it for today's show. My name's Alex. I'm Nick. I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching. Love Blue Sports, and we'll see you next time.